In this video, I am going to share with you what I learned about building confidence going from a broke pizza boy to a multimillionaire. And let me tell you, it is not what you're used to hearing from these friggin' self-help gurus and these books about how everything is light or praying to your angels or any of that. No, this is actually how to build confidence. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dan Henry. I made $30 million with my online business and I make videos about what I learned along the way. How do you build confidence? Well, the first step to building confidence is to realize that you can't build confidence. That is not a real thing. You can only build competence, which as a byproduct creates confidence. For instance, if you get in a boxing ring and you've never taken a boxing lesson, you've never trained boxing, and you're in the ring and there's a dude on the other end of the freaking ring and he's an amazing boxer and he's been training for five years and he's like, let's go, motherfucker. You not having confidence makes sense. Why? Because you don't have the competence around boxing. You don't know how to box. So of course you don't have confidence because you don't have the skills to when you step in the ring, you're like, oh man, I know how to punch and kick. Well, you don't kick in boxing, but you get what I'm saying. And so if you learn to box, if you took boxing lessons, and if you literally day in and day out practiced and drilled and worked with a boxing coach, the natural byproduct of that is having confidence. Now, if you still lack confidence even after you've done that, then you simply lack an awareness around your competence, which means you need to get out there and you need to expose yourself to little bitty situations that show you you have competence. Get in the ring and go light. Or in jujitsu, we do what's called flow rolling, where we go real light and we just kind of go from move to move to move, no big pressure. In business and in life, you might find yourself simply getting on a podcast or maybe getting on a call and helping someone. And you might think to yourself, oh my gosh, I just, I, I don't have the confidence to share what I know. So go out right now, make a post and say, hey guys, listen, I'm really good at this thing and I've done this, I've had results, I've done it for myself. I would love to hop on a call with somebody for free and just try to help you. And I'd love to know if it helped because I really want to know if I can teach what I know to other people. Hop on a call, help them. You might be surprised by their response. Likely, it'll be far more positive than you ever thought, and that's gonna increase your confidence. But that in of itself did not increase your confidence. It simply increased your awareness of your competence. Model people who are doing better. Dig in and figure out how they're doing it. Get into groups, masterminds. Increase your competence. And then all the confidence stuff will take care of itself. So listen, you can do affirmations. You can pray to your angels. You can do all this stuff. You can balance your chakras and whatever. And look, if that helps you build confidence, then you do you. But if it doesn't, then you might wanna just go learn some stuff that actually is worth something. And then go out and do it, see the results, and you'll go, wow, I'm really good at that. This happened, then this happened, then this happened. And that'll increase your confidence. If you enjoyed this video and this is what you needed to hear today, drop a comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.